Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt. Welcome to the Sinbin, the YouTube hockey channel where we pretty much talk about everything hockey. And amidst a global pandemic where pretty much nothing is happening, we finally have some hockey news. And that news is in the form of one Brandon Leipzig of the Washington Capitals, maybe formerly of the Washington Capitals, because in case you guys don't know it, Mr. Leipzig is in hot water. The way this video is going to work, I'm going to explain the situation. If you guys have no clue what's happening, don't worry. I'm going to fill you in with the details. We're also going to talk. I'm going to share to you the images of the messages. I try to find as much as possible the images toward uh, Pearson, the comments towards Vertanen, Pearson's wife. I tried to find as much as I could just so you guys could see all of them and formulate your own opinions. And then in the third part of the video, if you will, I'm going to give my own opinion on the situation because I do have some strong opinions. I think that with every controversial topic, everyone has strong opinions. So I'm going to do that. Now, as promised, in case you guys don't know what's happening, um, Brandon Leipzig of the Washington Capitals, he's apologizing because he was part of a group chat, I believe on Instagram, and um, there was an account that was part of that group chat that was leaked. The account's name was Angel Z 2020 And when that account got leaked, a bunch of messages that were written in that account got released to the public, and it was revealed that Leipzig, he, he was pretty much crap-talking um, both players and players' wives and uh, other people too. He was doing a lot of crap-talking. In a statement on Twitter, Leipzig said his friend's account was hacked and acknowledged he was part of those conversations. He says in a statement, I fully recognize how inappropriate and offensive these comments are and sincerely apologize to everyone for my actions. I am committed to learning from this and becoming a better person by taking time to determine how to move forward in an accountable, meaningful way. I am truly sorry. That's what Leipzig said. So you guys might be wondering, what did he say that was so bad? What was said in this group chat? So I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. Um, this article here says Brendan Leipzig's sexist and racist text messages. Not sure if I agree with that, but like I said, we're going to talk about it a little bit more in the third part. I really want to be objective here and just show you the messages as themselves. And here we see Tanner Pearson, not in an LA Kings uniform. A lot of you might remember he ended up getting traded to the Vancouver Canucks. Um, he's wearing 70 in blue, and that is his wife holding their baby. And uh, what does Brendan Leipzig say under? Look how fat Pearson's wife is. LOL. So again, here's the image. There is Pearson's wife. Um, I'm going to be honest here. Before we move on with the other messages, I did end up Googling Tanner Pearson's wife. Here she is right here. I got to say, I get it that attraction and most specifically sexual attraction, it's all a, a subjective thing. But I got to say, I don't think Tanner Pearson's wife is fat. Uh, I think she's a gorgeous woman. You know, that is an absolute gorgeous woman. If I end up marrying a woman like that, I think that that's a catch. Again, look at her here. There they are at Walt Disney. I can't say that's an ugly woman. Was she a few pounds overweight in that one photo? Sure. But I'm going to assume their kid looks kind of young. Maybe it's still some weight from pregnancy. You know, it's very hard for some women to shed some of those pregnancy pounds. So uh, I'm going to be honest here. I think Leipzig is jealous because Tanner Pearson has one hell of a catch. Do you guys agree with me or not? Please write it down in the comments. But enough of Tanner Pearson's wife. Let's move on to the other comments that uh, Leipzig made. And as I go down here, um, he says, cover your stomach. Cover your stomach up more. Make it more obvious. Holy. He later says on the bottom here, two of the worst candid picks I've seen all week. I can't concur whether or not he's still talking about Tanner Pearson's wife. He may be talking about another girl, but the point is fairly clear. He's mostly making fun of women and their weight. He's making fun of the weight of women. Uh, later on in the messages, you'll see he calls them pigs. Here he says, who is this? L-M-A-O. Uh, the other people in the chat says she's a unit. She's actually disgusting. I think she might weigh 220. Uh, I'm going to admit, I'm not up to date with all of the cool kids' expressions, I guess, the young people's expression. I'm not sure what she's a unit means. I guess it means she's a one on 10. I don't know. But later on, he says she's a fat native pig. She's not just a fat pig. She's a fat native pig. Wow. It doesn't even stop there, folks. 
Um, here, here they are again in the group chat. Jordan Boyd says, enjoy your last summer with him. Um, he then puts a pig emoji, I guess. Uh, Brandon Leipzig says, tiny little girl. Wow. Obviously being sarcastic. Uh, and as we go down here a little bit more, he says, oink, oink. Let me quit the zoom in. He says, oink, oink. And that is it. So there you go. There are some of the comments that Brandon Leipzig made. And it's pretty much the same theme. He's making fun of women and their weight. Um, he's making fun of people's weight. I don't know if he would also be making fun of men and their weight. I haven't seen those on this website, but on this website, he shows them making fun. He shows Brendan Leipzig making fun of women's weight, calling them pig. It doesn't stop there, folks. I do have some other sources here. On Twitter, Leia Kessel tweets an image of Jake Vertanen. And he seems like he's at some uh, vacation island resort or something. And he writes, what a crew, Jake Vertanen says. Um, Brendan Leipzig then comments, easily the worst crew in the world, making fun of Jake Vertanen. Um, he did say this in private on the Instagram account. It's not like he wrote it to Jake Vertanen on the wall or whatever it's called. Um, there's also an image that the Capitals posted of two of the Capitals players um, I'm not too familiar with the Washington Capitals, but I think that looks like Garnet Hathaway on the left. And uh, next to him, I'm not sure who it is. But the point is, Brendan Leipzig wrote, those are my line mates. Could you imagine? Um, F word, they're losers. So making fun of his line mates, making fun of Jake Vertanen. And then we get the cream of the crop here. We see Connor McDavid during Halloween in his Grinch outfit. By the way, if I had a girlfriend, you couldn't pay me to wear that. I'm not dressing up as a Grinch so you can look like a slutty Cindy Lou Who. But anyway, his girlfriend, he's dressed like the, she's dressed like the slutty Cindy Lou Who, uh, and the dog is dressed like Max. What does Brendan Leipzig say? Greasy beat up legs on Cindy. Greasy. I, it's funny. I don't know what greasy beat up legs necessarily mean, uh, but if I take it at face value, I don't think she has any greasy legs. If anything, Connor has greasy legs, those big greasy legs. So that's an example uh, of what Brendan Leipzig's been writing. And there you again, you can see him making fun of Tanner Pearson's wife. All right. That's as much as I could find uh, of the messages of Brendan Leipzig. All right. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit because I know a lot of people are saying this is the end of his career. Okay. This is it for Brendan Leipzig. I'm going to be completely honest. If I were an employer and one of my employees did something like this, I'm a forgiving guy. I believe in second chances, okay? So me personally, I would give him a second chance. But the point being, I do not run the Washington Capitals. Will they give him a second chance or not? Will they quote unquote fire him, buy out his contract? I'm gonna tell you one thing, even though I don't necessarily agree with it, even though it's against what I would personally do, I do think the Washington Capitals are done with Brendan Leipzig. Why? For, for one reason, Brendan Leipzig, if I were to label him, and I really hate labels, I would characterize him as a fourth line player. He's a perennial bottom six players. And you can see it on his stats here. Um, in 61 games with the Washington Capitals, he got 11 points, three goals. Uh, you know, that's not Connor McDavid numbers here. Uh, going back with the Vancouver Canucks, where he probably befriended uh, Tanner Pearson, if he was there at that point, but I'm not sure. Um, he only got five points in 17 games. You know, 18 points in 45 games. These aren't Ovechkin numbers. And I think that the fact that he's a bottom six player and um, he's sort of, for lack of a better word, expendable, I think that the Washington Capitals are going to be very PC about this and just say that, look, dude, you screwed up. We can easily replace you. With that being said, pack your shit, you're leaving. So personally, when people ask, is this the end of the career, uh, or at least the NHL career of Brendan Leipzig, I'm more inclined to believe so. I'm going to be honest. I'm more inclined to believe so. Um, what's my opinion on the whole situation? I'm going to tell you guys one thing. And uh, at this point, if you're not interested in my opinion, feel free to click off the video, but I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. What's being done here, the quote unquote crap talking other people behind their back, it's much more common than people think. Believe me, I went to high school, I went to college, I went to undergrad, 
I basically spent my whole young adult life around different people of my age. Crap talking behind someone's back is a very common thing. Are we all going to pretend like we don't do it? Listen, there might be some people out there who have never done this type of stuff. Okay? There might be some people. And I really, I, I commend you. You guys are great. But I'm going to be honest. What Brendan Leipzig has done, I've done it in the past. I'm going to be honest. Am I proud of it? No. Do I want to take it back? Absolutely. But for those of you out there who are already judging me and judging Brendan Leipzig, have you guys ever been in a bar and you see a slightly chubby lady walk in and maybe you guys had a few too many drinks and you pass a comment along to your friend like, holy crap, uh, she better lose a few pounds or holy crap, uh, does she ever hear of what a salad is or stuff like that, little comments like that. Well, if you've never done that, you're a great person. If you have done that, you've done what Brendan Leipzig just did, okay? Sure, maybe he does it much, much, much more than uh, what I would have ever done. Heck, I didn't have a secret Instagram account where seemingly all I do is make fun of people's looks. But given the fact that this is a really common occurrence, crap talking people behind their back, that just supports my point that I'm more inclined to give Brendan Leipzig a second chance. I don't know about you guys, but I would because everyone does it. One word that I really found funny, and that was in the first article I showed. If I'm just to scroll up here, um, here we go. Brendan Leipzig, sexist and racist. First of all, racist? Did he say anything about someone's race? Did I miss something? Is it because Connor McDavid was green? And uh, What's going on? I, I think I missed the boat on that one. But anyway, let's focus on the sexist part because I think the racist has got nothing to do with the situation. Brendan Leipzig's sexist and racist text messages are leaked online. Like I said, I hate labels. Do I think that he's a sexist for saying that? Not really. He might be. Deep down inside, he might be, but I'm not able to go in his head and read his intentions and know whether or not he's truly a sexist. If anything, if he has something against a certain group of people, it's fat people. He has something against fat people. But for the people saying he's a misogynist, a, a word that I had to Google, and it pretty much means you're against women, you bash women. For people saying that he's a misogynist, because I have seen this online on Twitter, a lot of people calling him a misogynist. You girls out there, when you're in a group of girls, do you guys never talk to each other and talk about other guys and say, hey, look at that guy, he has love handles, or look at that guy, he has man breasts. Yes, that guy has breasts like a woman. Have you guys never shit talk any other guy? If so, like I said, I wish I were you. I commend you. But if you have shit-talked other people and other men, then you could not criticize Brendan Leipzig because that would make you a racist. The only difference between Brendan Leipzig and you is that Brendan Leipzig got caught. And that's another lesson, guys. We never know what technology nowadays. It's not reliable. Anyone can go on anyone's account and hack it. I was just reading about a video game called The Last of Us 2. The whole story got leaked and hacked. You know, it, it seems like it's very uh, easy to hack nowadays. Not very easy, but anyone could do it. So just be careful when you guys are sending private messages. Be careful with your email server. We never know what might happen. I've been rambling for way too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you guys think of the Brendan Leipzig situation? Do you think the hate is warranted? Do you think this is the end of his career? If so, tell me why. Uh, I'm dying to know. I like to hear other opinions, especially when they're different opinions because it gives me the other side of the story. So with all of that being said, make sure to subscribe to the Sin Bin. I'm not making too many videos now, but believe me, once the season starts and gets rolling, the videos are going to get rolling also. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you want to continue discussion when the cameras are turned off, make sure to follow the link in the description for the Discord server where we do a lot of hockey talk. Hell, we might talk about Brendan Leipzig himself. So, uh, and also finally follow me on Twitter. My name is Matt. Keep your stick on the